Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, how are you? My name is Angela. In today's video, we have some Etsy orders to get done. So it's going to be another work with me. But this time, instead of separating it between sublimation and embroidery, we're going to put it all together. So I have, I have either three or four tumblers to make. The orders came in. The orders came in last night. Um, and I also have, I think, nine or ten kids sublimation back to school shirts. And then I also have some embroidered kids shirts as well for birthdays and I think there's one or two back to school. So we're gonna do all of that together in today's video. Roman is taking a nap. He'll probably be waking up soon though because he's been asleep for a little over two hours, but I did wanna get a video out for you guys, so yes. So I already have the sublimation designs printed for the back to school shirt. So I'm gonna start with that because it is very hot today. It's like 98 degrees. So the heat press is currently at 385 degrees, which is what I use for my sublimation shirts. Um, I've had to get that out the way so I can turn the heat press off. And then turn the fan back on. Can't turn the fan on while I'm doing sublimation because there's so much lint, dirt, fibers in this room that it all just stirs up and ends up getting on my shirts while I am sublimating. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and do a time lapse. I'm going to speak on some things whenever they come up. Because uh, more things that I have changed since learning to sublimate. This is the last video. I changed things. I read you guys' comments. I use your suggestions. So any comments, questions, suggestions, just leave them in the, in the comment section to this video. And I'll be sure to answer them. So I have been working all weekend. Well, really, Kenan has been really working all weekend. He's been helping me out with uh, making some sweatshirts. But I have all the sublimation shirts here for the sublimation orders. Um, the shirts I use are from AJ Blanks. I do own AJ Blanks. Um, and they are 100% polyester children's shirt, super soft. And because they are very soft, I do not, they're soft and thicker. I do not need to put paper inside of the shirts when I am pressing. Um, thanks to somebody who commented under my video. I don't remember your name, but thank you. Uh, he was like, uh, you don't need to put anything between your shirts. Now, this is specific to AJ Blanks. Some shirts, because they are thinner, the ink will go through. But with AJ Blanks, it does not go through. Um, so... That saves me a step. Also, another step was I was pre-pressing these. But as they messaged me and said, or they commented, your shirts, you pre-press to get moisture out. If there's no steam when you're pre-pressing, there's nothing in it. And because they are individually wrapped in bags, there's more than likely no moisture in them. So I have not been pre-pressing my shirts. So that has saved me a lot of time because I have been getting a lot of orders. Again, all these orders are from yesterday. So I'm just rushing to get all these sublimation shirts out. We have been trying to keep up with them so that our orders don't pile up on Etsy, but it still happens. So I will go ahead and get going. Um, we did also release sublimation bodysuits. So we just released these on Friday. So they have the lap shoulders. And again, you can just see how soft they are and they're not super thin and they are stretchy as well. And these come from zero to three months all the way to 12 to 18. So these are on ajblanks.com as well, but Let's just go ahead and start sublimating these so these can be done.
like to package the shirt while the other one is pressing. That way I save some time. So I just put it in this bag. I do the final packaging after, but it saves time and I just put it to the side and keep going.
All right, we finished all the shirts. So now we have our sublimation transfers are upside down. Um, so these are on AngelaJasmina.com. Um, and you can find some probably right under this video. There's like a little shop section, you can see that. But I cut this full side off so there'll be no white here. I cut up here so there's no white, down here so there's no white, and then I cut about half of this. So you will see that. I don't use as much tape as other people, and this has worked great for me. I tried like the 10 million, thousand, trillion, trillion, trillion taping methods and I actually found that less tape happened to work better for me. And I don't use the chopper paper thingy um, because maybe it's just me. I just can't figure out exactly where the thing cuts. And with tumblers, precision is key. My printer obviously printed this crooked, but it's fine. It's not a big deal. I also don't cover the entirety of the bottom of the tumbler. Um, I don't go all the way over the edge. I just go, I like to leave a tiny bit, you'll see. When I wrap one, but I'm not cut by these. You can make your tumblers however you want. And that's what I realized. I didn't have to make them like everyone else does. As long as my customers are happy, it's a great product. Who cares? And it's also about <clears throat> what is easiest to make. Using all that tape, oh my god, it was a headache. So, just watch how I do this real quick. And I can always do a more, this is like a time lapse video, so I, mean, I guess you'll see it, whatever. If you want a up close, close video, just uh, let me know in the comment section. are 20 ounce skinny tumblers you can get them on ajblanks.com we ship them out in two days all right so here's the tumbler i don't wipe it down i don't do all of that you'll find that i am a very simple person so that's all that's all i do i just wrap it just make sure i just put them upside down obviously and just wrap and then Hit one piece of tape, one more piece of tape, and one more piece of tape. Roll across here. And if it is like a full color design, I do this piece here just to make sure it's extra tight. When it's a white background design, I don't have to do that. And then I get this little plastic blade. It's from Amazon. There'll be a link down below and I just run it down the seam. And that is it. what Keenan's doing look at this mess he's sending me <laughs> he is so bored obviously Thank you. 
Is the seam right here so and like I said I don't do the full bottom so that's what it looks like So I just finished the tumblers. Um, it is too hot. I am like blazing, blazing. Like I'm super hot. So I'm not going to be embroidering today. It's what 4:30 maybe. So it really hasn't been that long. Maybe an hour since we started. Um, that's it. But it is too hot for me to work up here. I am sweating bullets. Um, so sorry. So no embroidering in this video. It was only five shirts. They have to ship I think on Tuesday. So I'll probably make them tomorrow or something. Um, but sorry if you're excited for that part of the video. But I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all, leave them down below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Again, I know you guys wanted a video on how I tape my tumblers and a video on my printing settings for sublimation. So I'll be more than happy to do a video on that. Probably after this one goes up. Um, also, again, candle thread video. A lot of people were asking... That's Roman. A lot of people are asking if I do use a thread and if I liked it. Yes, um, it stitches pretty well. I stitched two exact shirts. Um, I had sweatshirts and they were full stitch. I did one in Madeira, one in Candle. But the Candle actually did not have one thread break. The Madeira did have a thread break, but that just thread break. I don't know. But yeah, it was good. I like it and I like that it's a little bit more shiny too as well. So I'm blazing. And on that note, I'm out of this room because this room is blazing. So thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!